we will redouble efforts to keep the cost of living stable. Inflation is a major concern for us, as it is for many other countries. We recognize how rising prices are impacting Singaporeans coping with day-to-day -day expenses. We cannot control global prices, but we can and we have shielded Singaporeans from the worst effects of global inflation by keeping the Singapore dollar strong. This year, with higher economic growth, we expect wages to also increase. In the meantime, we will continue to cushion the impact of inflation, especially on the lower and middle-income Singaporeans, through support measures like the CDC vouchers, cash payouts, and utilities rebates. In the long term, the key to managing the cost of living is to foster innovation and enhance productivity across our economy. Then we can expect wages to increase by more than inflation and improve the overall quality of life for all Singaporeans. I know many are also concerned about housing affordability. We have imposed additional cooling measures and ramped up the supply of new HDB flats. These steps are helping to stabilize the property market. In October, HDB will launch the first batch of flats under the new standard, plus and prime framework. Flats in the plus and prime areas will now be priced more affordably as they will receive heavier subsidies. But to keep the system fair, the additional subsidies will have to be returned to HDB when the flats are resold later. These innovations in our housing policies reflect our commitment always to be a nation of homeowners. We are determined to keep public housing in Singapore accessible, affordable and fair for all.